copycat. Kate's vintage pink suit sold out after Meghan's disappointing imitation moment last night. Meghan Markle follows Kate's lead in a pink short suit from one of the coolest brands around. Meghan Markle always stuns us with her sartorial choices. Last night, April 24, she arrived at the LA Lakers game wearing a chic outfit comprised of a pink linen blazer and shorts. The short suit, which is from designer Stodd, boasts a delightful summery pink hue, perfect for any summer occasion. In Meghan's case, a Lakers game. Meghan's Stodd short suit retails at quite a lofty price tag, blazer, $375, shorts, $245. Why does she wear clothes that are way too big for her? Someone some time ago suggested it may be a symptom of some form of body dysmorphia where she thinks she needs to lose weight, she does not, so wears too big clothes to hide her imagined girth in them? Why does she wear stilettos everywhere to the most inappropriate places and with the most inappropriate outfits? Out of all her fashion faux pas, this one irks me the most, because it is so tacky and dated. A pair of ballerinas or dress sneakers would have made this outfit infinitely better. Meghan wasn't the first royal associated with pink pantsuits, though. Kate Middleton has long been rocking the pantsuits, even having stepped out in a pastel pink suit in recent years. Kate Middleton looked the picture of summer elegance in an on-trend pink suit as she hosted a special event at the Royal Institution in London on Thursday, June 16, last year. The Duchess of Cambridge led a roundtable with government ministers, including Health Secretary Saeed Javed. Her stunning bluish-pink suit couldn't have been more perfect for London sun as the capital basked in a heat wave. It's thought to hail from one of the Duchess's go-to designer labels, Alexander McQueen. With the ice pink Alex wool blazer and matching Alex Begleg trousers still available to shop online, her highlighted dark hair was worn down in a classic blow dry. Her flawless makeup complemented her outfit to perfection, particularly thanks to the light pink lipstick and rosy blush. As she chose the perfect appearance, Kate Middleton made the fashion house, at that time, quickly sell out in just a few hours and had to continuously replenish its inventory. Now, after Meghan appeared in a pink suit last night, many people have posted comparison photos between Meghan and Catherine. Once again, the suits that Kate Middleton wore sold out. Despite her best efforts, it seems that Meghan has lost miserably in the battle with Kate. Royal followers continued to criticize Meghan's look last night, and this caused Stout, who supplied the suit for the Duchess, to suffer a sharp decline in the number of orders and sales of the set. This is probably something that Stout couldn't have foreseen. The Fashion Easter comments, this look of hers at the basketball game in a 600-pound short suit is so freaking bad. Her legs look like toothpicks. She obviously no longer has a stylist because no stylist would allow their client out like this. So, toothpick legs, overemphasis on the box part of the torso, and what did she do, pay people to come what it up into tiny balls to get as many wrinkles into the shorts and blazer as possible. Could she look any worse? I also dislike seeing a woman in her 40s wearing a slouchy bubblegum pink blazer with matching shorts. I don't think this is ageist of me, as I'm older than Megan myself. The oversized blazer just makes her look frumpy, and the shorts take away any power boss lady energy and instead give off aspirational girl scout leader. The funniest thing about this is Kate initially wore the pink suit in maybe 2021, and then Queen Letizia of Spain wore one, then it became a high street trend because of the Kate effect and now Megan's buying into the trend. The difference, as others have pointed out, is that Catherine appears to be familiar with the idea of a steamer, has access to a tailor, knows her body type, and doesn't choose fabrics that wrinkle when you so much as look at them when she knows she'll be in the public eye or being photographed.